Hybrids can make tax-efficient business cars, but practicality usually suffers. All those batteries and the electric motor have to fit in somewhere. That's where the Toyota Auris Touring Sports Hybrid really stands out. You get low CO2 and clean exhaust emissions, but without the shrunken boot. Toyota has been so clever with the packaging that there's no loss of luggage room compared with the conventionally powered Touring Sports. There's 530 litres to fill. Fold the seats flat, a quick and easy job thanks to levers inside the boot, and that increases to 1658 litres. So, as an estate car, the hybrid stacks up well, but what about the sports part of its rather long-winded name? Here the Toyota is on shakier ground. The steering is light and easy around town, but it's uncommunicative and the wallowy suspension doesn't like to be rushed through corners. It's not especially quick either, so overtaking needs a lot of forward planning. What's more, there's too much wheezing and complaining from the 1.8 litre petrol engine if it's worked hard. The CVT gearbox doesn't help with noise levels, with excessive high rev roar under acceleration. As a motorway car though, the Auris is more at home. At steady speeds, the CVT behaves itself and the engine quietens down. Town driving also suits the Toyota. It will run as a fully electric vehicle for short periods, which makes the car exceptionally quiet. Push the gear lever across to B and the car adds more brake regeneration. Keeping the batteries topped up and helping to slow the car down when you lift off the accelerator. Unlike some brake regeneration systems, the Toyota's doesn't hinder smooth driving. That's all well and good, but a hybrid needs attention-grabbing economy and emissions if it's to appeal to fleet managers. Official figures promise 76.3 mpg on the combined cycle and CO2 emissions of 85 grams a kilometre. That puts the car in the 10% benefiting kind tax bracket. Cars with 17-inch alloys aren't quite as efficient as those riding on 15-inch wheels, but still achieve 92 grams a kilometre of CO2. Combine that with P11D values starting from just £21,440, and company drivers will see only a slight dent in their pay packet at the end of the month. The boss will be happy too, since a business owner qualifies for a 100% capital write-down allowance so corporation tax is reduced by the full cost of the car. The cheapest hybrid comes in Icon spec, which includes 15-inch alloy wheels, a rear-view camera, front fog lights and silver roof rails. Step up to the range-topping Excel for bigger wheels, dual-zone air conditioning, cruise control, heated front seats and an automatically dimming rear-view mirror. Whichever spec is chosen, the Auris Hybrid makes a lot of sense as a business tool, but it would be easier to recommend with the heart as well as the head if it were better to drive. <laughs>